Welcome to the new update and in this update we'll be discussing two altcoins quite shortly. We're going to look into the price action of Phantom, we're going to look into the price action of Matic and that's the update during this weekend vibe on this beautiful Sunday um, as the markets are currently still having some serious positive momentum which also results into the sentiment changing around quite a lot. But before we continue, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and need, and also make sure to check out our free trade letter, which we provide three times per week and check out our discount code, which we have right now. We have been producing 37R this month, which means that you grant yourself 37% if you risk 1% per, per trade. Um, and that is a extremely strong month. And therefore we are launching copy trading on February 1st where you can copy trade my portfolio and the one of multiple traders in the platform. In order to do so you need to become a member and therefore we've got the 30% discount code which is copy trading 30 you can find it beneath and you get a ton of bonuses on BitCat our partner exchange of which we are going to use that as the preferably used um, exchange so make sure to check that out now let's look at the altcoins at this point in which most of them have been granting a massive run right so phantom has been running substantially <clears throat> and we have been seeing that in the previous period as well um, going upwards before it starts to have a massive expansion taking place i'm zooming out a little bit more to see where we stand at this stage we have been seeing this run up in earlier stages as well usually you just get some sort of correction before we can get continuation so in this time we have been seeing accelerated continuation in 2021 and then we've got the most clear pattern which is the one at the end of 2021 getting out of a bear market considerably just having some slight corrections before the continuation takes place and that is most likely what we're facing at this point as well so more people are assumably not interested into phantom a month ago but right now people are because of the simple fact that um, it's going up and reverse that mindset will bring you into a state where you are able to beat the markets mostly and where you can get into positions that you preferably like to see because right now you're at the end of the tail that wants to buy into the actual asset and the same goes for a few other alt altcoins of which i've discussed one yesterday but at this point we're getting into resistance levels and also we're getting to numbers of the RSI that hits the resistance zone. So we see a bearish divergence taking place on the daily time frame here for Phantom which is not confirmed yet. But it shows a parabolic which is a crucial part for you to decide that you couldn't be entering into a position right now. But which level should you be looking at? That's what we're discussing here. So what we see on the price action of Phantom is that we started to accelerate. The trend is not done. The trend will just continue to last and that will be granting yourself some massive opportunities overall. But what do we see? We have got this massive resistance area here at 66 cents and we've got the resistance area here at 51 cents of which we have been rejecting in May 2022, right? And we've break, been breaking through this resistance zone at 41 cents. So if we get into a short theory, probably you want to get into a short around the area of 52 cents. And then you can start targeting the long zones, which you use by the daily time frame. And the first daily time frame, which grants you an opportunity, is the one at 35 cents. And the second one is the area around 41, which is the aggressive entry zone. If that holds, uh, we can definitely see continuation towards possibly 66 cents. So what are the levels that you should be looking at well this is one this block and this is the second one and this is the final one these three are the ones that you should be looking at this is the aggressive aggro version in which you can start looking on one hour and four hour time frames for a potential bounce play in which you use this for a 16 to potentially 25 percent bounce play if the markets are going to grant that probably will have another correction taking place and then you're eager to look at lower levels for entry zones which means that these two one at 35 and one at 30 cents grant you an opportunity to build for the next swing trade and then you're zooming out and building your position in which you start targeting a dollar next when we're looking at matic 
we see the exact same. So what we have here is a case of continuation since January 1st. We have been retesting levels, so we've got a retest here at 91, we've got a retest here at 95, and then we started to break out into resistance zones, which at some point we are going to break to the upside and then Matic is going to start to accelerate quite fast and I think it will just break through these ones and then we are starting to target the area around 165 and the area at $2 as potential next resistance zones. But in order to have that ta being taking place, you need to get some retests here at 98 cents. But overall, if we're looking at the price action, you can see that all those retests have been taking place and some have not. So the preferred long entry is the one at 95 cents, which is ultimately lower than the previous highs. But in that case, we take all the liquidity of the breakout traders, we get a bounce around 95 cents, and then we grant ourselves continuation, which ultimately leads towards a TP of 125 to possibly even 163. So that's a short update here. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll see you again tomorrow. Ciao.